everyone, it's Pam. So today I have another review for you. So let's get started. Yeah, uh, don't mind the background. I'm in Thailand. I'm in Phuket. I've been here for a few days and I still have about two days left. So yeah, I know it's also a little bit like off balance, uh, the focus and everything. I have my camera propped up on books in like pillows. And sorry if I keep looking into the viewfinder. I'm just trying to make sure that it's recording and then my camera won't fall off. So the product I will be reviewing is the Elba Botanica uh, Sensitive Screen Fragrance Free Clear Spray SPF 50. I did purchase mine in Thailand. Um, I purchased it in Bot, so I do not know how much it. I forgot how much it was, but on Amazon you can find it for seven dollars and seventy nine cents. I will link it down below in the description box where you can purchase it or where you can find information about the product. It does contain 171 grams of product, which is equivalent to six ounces. The bottle is sturdy. It is green, has white, purple, basically. It says it's fragrance-free and a clear spray. Now, I tend to use fragrance-free skincare. I've been transitioning into that. It is very difficult to find skincare products that are fragrance-free. It's kind of frustrating. I had to search and search and search. I did bring my... Um, sunscreen from uh, China um, but then we ran out so then I purchased the banana boat uh, sunscreen which I did film a review I'll link it down below where you can watch this one we bought this yesterday and we're almost I think more than halfway done with it however with me that's okay I'm willing to spend on sunscreen because the average consumer the average person doesn't apply the adequate amount of sunscreen to their face and especially when it's a, a spray bottle form they apply even less so always go in with more than what you think and I do apply it quite often um, and this one had a seal um, plastic on the cap and um, Obviously, it had uh, a label here in Thai, so I just peeled it off, and it had some plastic here. Once you uh, break the seal open, there's a ca uh, little like twist cap, so you can close it, you can open it. Now, this is a clear uh, spray, which is very, very true. It does come out clear, and the mist is very fine, so for instance, you can see it's clear. And you can pat it in or rub it, etc., or just leave it as is. So I'll show you once more here. Or it doesn't have any synthetic fragrance, but it does have a smell. It kind of smells like almost like hairspray, but I don't mind it. I just do not like synthetic fragrances in my products personally. Um, and it does have aloe vera, chamomile, um, many other things that you can look online for. I will leave it down below. And um, it, it's quite cooling when you put it on your body especially after you've been like at the beach or at the pool for a long time it claims to be lightweight fast drying, um, and it's air powered and biodegradable for a happy planet it offers SPF 50 bot broad spectrum it's water resistant for 80 minutes reef safe and it's biodegradable and it's recommended by the skin cancer foundation and have no oxybenzone often O-C-T-I-N-O-X-A-T-E and no synthetic fragrances and it has 100% vegetarian ingredients. It has no gluten, it's not tested on animals, no artificial colors, no synthetic fragrances, no parabens, no phthalates or harmful sulfates. It doesn't sting, it doesn't really bother my eyes. I personally, for more like aesthetic or cosmetic type of sunscreen, I use um, different sunscreens for that. Right now I'm using the Skin Aqua one. Um, however, at the beach, I do reapply this one on my face. I just spray it onto my hand and then pat it onto my face, and there it is. On Amazon, it claims to protect your skin from harmful UVA and UVB rays with Elba Botanica fragrance free. I actually do like it. Like I said, I find it to be very cooling. As you can see, it does leave a bit of a like a gloss. The one thing I'm not sure what to attribute it to is, for example, yesterday when we purchased it, I we applied a lot. I mean, we're more than halfway done with it. Um, I noticed that there was a film that was kind of building up it's almost like if you've ever tried a gel exfoliant those peeling gels how you're like it starts peeling um because it is biodegradable and we were um in sea salt water we were in the ocean 
So I'm not sure whether to attribute it to that, but for me that doesn't really bother me. If I'm going to the beach or the pool, I'm going kind of just to swim. I don't really care about looking very aesthetically like pleasant to others or about what my skin is doing. So like right now I can kind of feel it. Oh, actually, it's actually happening. I don't know if you can see it. It looks, it feels kind of like coarse after it's been in. Maybe it's harder to see, but two, I don't know if I'm supposed to pat it in or if I'm just supposed to spray it. So maybe it's because I'm blending it, blending it in that that's happening. Maybe I just have to let it sit for a while before I blend it in. It hasn't caused any sensitivity to my skin. I do have rosacea and have very, very sensitive skin. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any concerns, comments, points, or debates, or anything that I didn't answer or would like to have addressed. Uh, yeah, I would be very eager to answer any questions you have. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to jet out of here. Sorry if I was talking quite quickly. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review, and thank you very much for watching. Bye!